rightly dividing Romans. Study guide, for I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first, and also to the Greek. For therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith, as it is written, the just shall live by faith. Romans 1 verses 16 and 17. Mu alpha or I go to alpha nu nu epsilon, manly. Rightly Dividing Roman Study Guide by Mary Ann Manley Rightly Dividing Roman Study Guide Copyright 2021 by Mary Ann Manley Acknowledgement To God be the glory for helping me write this book. I am grateful for the support of my dear husband Chuck and my children during this time. I would like to thank some of the many grace pastors who have helped me understand God's word rightly divided, Les Feldick, Richard Jordan, Tom Brescia, Rick Jordan, David Reed, David Osteen, Paul Lucas, and others. I was particularly helped by Sean Brousseau's informative articles on forwhatsitscriptures.org. I am delighted with the cover and artwork for the hymns by Madeleine Wilkinson. I thank Leanne Miko and others for their memes. I am grateful for Patty Carlson for proofreading and sign making. In preparing these books, I primarily read and study the Word of God over and over again until the Holy Spirit helps me to understand His Word better, but I also listen to sermons, read articles, and books. Asterisk and note from the author. After teaching on all Paul's letters and writing commentaries on them I am going through his letters again taking a closer look at each and every paragraph in conjunction with my more seasoned understanding. This is the new Closer Walk series of the rightly dividing of Paul's mystery letters from the rest of the Bible, Prophecy. The goal is to help accelerate the reader's spiritual growth and understanding of the Bible. This study guide is meant to be used along with the King James Bible. Some important or difficult passages are quoted more completely and scrutinized more thoroughly. While Satan is preparing the world for Antichrist, God's Spirit in us is working to prepare us to be useful sons here and in heaven. When some verses are found in Romans, I write 116 instead of Rom 116. How to use this book, skim it first, read it using a ruler and a pen, when you find a great cross-reference or comment you can mark it in your Bible, circle and color important words, make notes so that you have them next time you read that passage. I recommend the Schofield Study Bible 3 in the King James Version. It is wise to get a leather cover for it that holds a pen and zips. I recommend reading God's Secret A Primer with pictures for how to rightly divide the word of truth before this book. For a more complete between the Bible text analysis, please read our commentaries on all of Paul's letters, Acts and Hebrews. We have a salvation booklet. All glory to our Lord Jesus Christ. Table of Content Forward Introduction to Romans Romans in a nutshell. Why is Romans the first book of Paul's letters in the Bible? Comparison chart of Christ's earthly and heavenly ministry. Does it matter which Bible I use? God's timeline. The four foundational cornerstones of Romans. Romans outline. Romans chapter review sentences. Romans chapter 1 Gentiles under sin. Romans chapter 2 Jews under sin. Romans chapter 3 The whole world under sin and justification explained Romans chapter 4 Imputation explained using Abraham Romans chapter 5 Result of justification Romans chapter 6 Our new identity in Christ Romans chapter 7 Our new problem in the flesh Romans chapter 8 Our new power in the spirit Romans chapter 9 What happened to Israel? Romans chapter 10 present salvation opportunity for individual Jews Romans chapter 11 has God cast away his people? Romans chapter 12 how do we live a life of service to God? Romans chapter 13 living with government. Romans chapter 14 the weaker brother and debatable things. Romans chapter 15 Paul's ministry to the Gentiles. Romans chapter 16 salutations and benediction as to the mystery appendix. One year extension of mercy for Israel about the author other books by marianne manley forward just a closer walk with thee grant it jesus is my plea daily walking close to thee let it be dear lord let it be from the hymn just a closer walk with the author unknown 1940. how do we have a closer walk with god by examining his every word more closely again and again 
We have to compare verses with verses and recognize their dispensational setting. The Bible cannot be understood unless it is rightly divided, 2 Timothy 2 verse 15. We are not to divide among or between Paul's letters, but we are to divide the Bible where God divides it, between Paul's letters and the rest of the Bible. Romans to Philemon are one unit of information for us written to Christ's group that will live eternal in the heavens, 2 Cor. 5 colon 1, while the rest of the Bible is for the believers who will live on earth. We divide Paul's letters from Genesis to John and Hebrews to Revelation with Acts being a transition book. We divide between Christ's earthly ministry to Israel through Peter and the 11, Matt. 10 colon 1 7, Gal. 2 colon 7 9, to Christ's ministry to his heavenly group through Paul, Acts 26 verses 16 to 18, Rom. 11 13. Paul told the Philippians that they helped him financially from the beginning of the gospel, philosophy. For 15, this means since he founded that church in Philippi in Acts 16 on his second apostolic journey until he wrote to them from Rome which joins Paul's Acts ministry with his prison epistles. Again, God does not divide among or between Paul's letters, and neither should we. All scripture is for us, but not all scripture is written to us or about us. Most of the Bible is written to and about the nation of Israel. But all of the Bible is for our learning, Rom. 15 colon 4, we are to put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil, F. 6 11. We defeat Satan's false doctrine by understanding all of the Bible rightly divided. But of course, we should pay special attention to Paul's 13 letters since Paul is the apostle of the Gentiles, Rom. 11 13, and he wrote to all of us who are living in the dispensation of grace, even the Jews. Why is Romans such an important book to understand? Romans is a masterpiece, our handbook for Christian living. It is the foundational basic teaching for the body of Christ, which needs to be mastered before we are ready to move on to the advanced doctrine in Ephesians. Romans, written during Acts, is not the first book Paul wrote, but it is first doctrinally. Just a closer walk with the author unknown, 1940. I am weak, but thou art strong, Jesus, keep me from all wrong, I'll be satisfied as long. As I walk, let me walk close to thee, refrain. Just a closer walk with thee, grant it, Jesus, is my plea, daily walking close to thee, let it be, dear Lord, let it be. Through this world of toil and snares, if I falter, Lord, who cares? Who with me my burden shares? None but thee, dear Lord, none but thee when my feeble life is o'er. Time for me will be no more. Guide me gently, safely o'er, to thy kingdom shore, to thy shore. Introduction to Romans. The theme of Romans is the righteousness of God. Romans explains how God solved the sin problem. Romans tells us what Jesus accomplished by the cross. No one can go to heaven without the imputed righteousness of Jesus Christ. The problem, God is holy and nothing unholy can come before him without being obliterated. The oldest book in the Bible stated the problem. How should man be just with God? Job 9 verse 2, we inherited the sin nature from Adam, Rom, 5 12. The solution, Jesus Christ paid the price for our sin with his own blood. He died the death we deserved, and then the sinless Son of God rose from the dead. We are saved when we believe the good news God gave to Paul. I declare unto you the gospel, by which also ye are saved, how that Christ died for our sins, was buried, and rose again the third day according to the scriptures. 1 Corinthians 15 verses 3 and 4 When the Father sees our faith resting in his Son's blood payment on the cross and his resurrection then he declares us justified. Jesus took our sins on the cross and when we believe we receive his righteousness credited to our account or imputed. This is incredible! What good news! What a great deal! Romans chapter 4 explains imputation. Imputation. Christ's righteousness. For he hath made him to be sin for us, who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 21 KJB. Our sins. For what saith the scripture? Abraham believed God, and it was counted unto him for righteousness. Romans 4 verse 3 KJB. But for us also, to whom it shall be imputed, if we believe on him that raised up Jesus our Lord from the dead, who was delivered for our offenses, and was raised again for our justification. 
Romans 4 verses 24 to 25 KJB SSBG If we have received his imputed righteousness, what else do we need? The answer is nothing. We are totally and completely forgiven. Gospel of our salvation. Here lies truth. JSP 1 Corinthians 15 verses 1 to 4 KJB. One moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you, which also ye have received, and wherein ye stand, too by which also why ye are saved, if ye keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless ye have believed in vain. 3. For I delivered unto you first of all that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, for in that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. Justification Summary The sinner that believes is justified because Christ who knew no sin, bore our sin on the cross, being made sin that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. 2 Cor. 521 For us 1. Justification is an act of declaring a person righteous, when we believe the glorious gospel and for Israel under the new covenant in the kingdom. 2. It is by God's grace, Rom. 324, Titus 3 verses 4 and 5. 3. Both the Gentiles and the Jews failed repeatedly and God proved that all believers in heaven and earth need his son's righteousness, Rom. 3 colon 21-26. 4. It is by faith alone, not works, Rom. 4 colon 5, 14. 5. It is the judicial act of God where he justly declares and treats as righteous the one who has received the imputed righteousness of Jesus Christ by faith. The judge himself has declared that nothing is laid to his charge. Having the imputed righteousness of Christ, we have total forgiveness, Rom. 4 colon 3, 23 to 25, 8 colon 1, 31 to 34. The three rites. 1. Right Gospel, 1 Cor. 15 colon 3, 4. 2. Right Bible, King James Bible. 3. Right Doctrine for the Body of Christ, Romans to Philemon. 2 Timothy 3 verse 16 All scripture is given by inspiration of God, and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. This is written for you. Genesis Revelation. This is written to you. Romans Philemon. 2 Timothy 2 verse 15 Study to shew thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. After we are saved, God wants us to know him, serve him as sons, and gain rewards in heaven. We can only be effective if we study to shew thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. 2 Tim 2.15 we divide the Bible where God divides it. All the Bible is for us, but Romans to Philemon is written to us. Jesus Christ's doctrine to us through Paul produces godliness in us which is profitable in this life and in the life to come. 1 Tim 4 colon 8, 6 colon 3 Romans in a Nutshell Paul wrote to the believers in Rome, the capital of the Roman Empire, from Corinth C. A.D. 58, after having been the Apostle of the Gentiles, 1113, for about 23 years. Paul wants to edify them with more truth. Chapters 1-5 to the book of Romans systematically and logically explains how the righteous God can justify, declare righteous, an unrighteous sinner by faith, alone. All the world is guilty before God, Rom. 1-320, in Adam all sin, 512. Christ was crucified for our sins and rose again for our justification. Rom. 321 to 521. Not only was Christ crucified and rose for us, but believers are spiritually crucified and risen with Christ. Chapter 6 to 8. Who we were in Adam has been spiritually crucified. Rom. 6 colon 3, 4. And now we can have Christ's life in us. We can serve God as we know, reckon, and yield to the fact that we are dead indeed unto sin, but alive unto God through Jesus Christ our Lord, Rom. 6.11 We still have the sinful flesh residing in our mortal bodies which is activated by the law of Moses. His purpose is that we be conformed to the image of his son, Rom. 8.29 By his doctrine God has now elected, chosen, to show mercy to the Gentiles, 8.33 Chapters 9-11 
Paul tells believers in the body of Christ that God was righteous to set Israel aside temporarily and begin the dispensation of grace to save Gentiles. The unbelieving Gentiles and Jews are his vessels of wrath. The believing remnant of Israel, Peter's group still present but on hold at the time of the writing of Romans, and the believing Gentiles are his vessels of mercy, 11 5, 23, 24. Through Israel's false salvation is come unto the Gentiles, 11 11, 12. God is able to dispense grace to the world because of the cross of Christ, and he will save any sinner who believes what his son has done until the rapture. But, after the fullness of the Gentiles be come and God will resume his dealings with Israel, 11 25 27, chapters 12 to 16, practical instructions on how to live unto God. It is reasonable for us to serve God. After we have been educated by God's word, we offer our bodies a living sacrifice for Christ to live his life through us, 12 colon 1, 2. We serve God acceptably as we live by faith in the word of God rightly divided. As sons of God, our motivation is love and gratitude to God. Paul concludes the letter with a benediction, believers are stabilized by three things, one, Paul's my gospel which is justification by faith, two, and the preaching of Jesus Christ, according to the revelation of the mystery, which was kept secret since the world began, Romans to Philemon, three, and by the scriptures of the prophets, the prophecy and the rest of the Bible, 16 25-27. All nations are commanded by the everlasting God to believe the entire Bible, the whole counsel of God, rightly divided, 2 Timothy 2 verse 15. Why is Romans the first book of Paul's letters in the Bible? Although Romans was the sixth book Paul wrote, it is first in God's order of scripture because it is the foundational doctrine for the body of Christ. It was written from Corinth, Acts 20 verse 3, during his three months stay there after the uproar in Ephesus, before Paul left to bring a contribution to the poor messianic kingdom saints in Jerusalem. Paul shared the information he learned in Ephesus and most likely just finished teaching Romans at Corinth. The 13 letters of Paul follow the order given in 2 Tim. 3.16, all scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, practical living. Romans equals doctrine. 1 and 2 Corinthians equals reproof. Galatians correction. Ephesians equals doctrine. Philippians equals reproof. Colossians equals correction. 1 and 2 Thessalonians equals doctrine, instruction in righteousness. 1 and 2 Timothy, Titus, Philemon equals doctrine, instruction in righteousness. Romans, foundational doctrine, 1 and 2 Corinthian, reproof for not living according to the doctrine in Romans, and Galatians, correction for leaving grace and living under the law. Paul was put on house arrest in the last chapter. Of Acts, Acts 28. These epistles were written before Paul received the full revelation of the mystery. They focus on foundational doctrines and are best understood when read together. The order of Paul's Acts epistles including when and where were written. Galatians 1 Thess, 2 Thess, 1 Cor, 2 Cor. Acts 19 verse 10. Acts 20 verse 1 Macedonia. Ephesus. AD 56. AD 57. Acts 15 verse 35. Antioch. AD 52 star. AD 63, Acts 18 verse 5, Rome, AD 63, Corinth, AD 53, asterisk approximate dates, the order of Paul's post-Acts epistles when and where they were written, F. Colonel Philemon, Philosophy 1 Tim, Titus, Rome, Acts 18 verse 11, Rome, AD 63, Corinth, AD 53, Rome. AD 63, Macedonia. AD 65, Macedonia. AD 65, Romans. Acts 20 verse 3, Corinth. AD 58, 2 Tim, Rome. AD 67, Galatians 2 verse 7, KJV. But contrarywise, when they saw that the gospel of the uncircumcision was committed unto me, as the gospel of the circumcision was unto Peter, Paul. I don't know why when people read that verse they cannot see two distinct gospels. It says it right there. 
In black and white and has been sitting there for hundreds of years, the gospel of the circumcision was unto Peter. The gospel of the uncircumcision was unto me, Paul. In time past Jesus chose James, John, Philip, 12, Thomas, Matthew, James, Thatton, Simon, the Little Flock Church, Luctus, Luke 12 verse 32 KIB, Peter, Andrew, apostles to preach to the 12 tribes of Israel, Matt 10-2-7 KIB, Matt 1524 KIB, KP 211 time past, the gospel of the kingdom, the gospel of the circumcision, Matt 423, 10-6-7 KJB Gal, 2.7-9 KIB, but now Jesus chose, Paul, apostle to build the one new man, the church, the body of Christ F, 215 KIB, but now 12, 13 KJB, the gospel of Christ, the gospel of your salvation, the gospel of the grace of God, the gospel of the uncircumcision. Romans 1 verse 16, Ephesians 1 verse 13 KIB, Acts 20 verse 24, Galatians 2 verses 7 to 9 KJB. Comparison Chart of Christ's Earthly and Heavenly Ministry Paul and Christ's Heavenly Ministry Mystery Regarding His Heavenly Kingdom Preached the Mystery Kept Secret Since the World Began Rom 1625 Peter and Christ's Earthly Ministry Prophecy Regarding the Kingdom on Earth Preached What the Prophets Had Spoken Since the World Began Acts 3 verse 21 Given Info from Christ on Earth Rom 15 colon 8 Head of the 12 Apostles to the 12 Tribes, Matt 1619 Gospel of the Circumcision, Gal 2 colon 7 Was to the believing remnant of Israel, the little flock, Luke 12 verse 32, which is Peter's group. These 12 Jesus sent forth, and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles, and into any city of the Samaritans enter ye not, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Matt 10 colon 5, 6. Lord, wilt thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? Acts 1 verse 6. Paul was not one of the twelve, one core. 15 colon 5 dash 8. Matthias was, Acts 1 verse 26. Hope of resurrection in the kingdom on earth to sit on one of the twelve thrones, Matt. 1928. Given info from Christ in heaven, Gal. 112. Christ's one apostle to the one body of Christ, Rom. 11.13 Gospel of the Uncircumcision, Gal. 2.7-9 Heathen, all unsaved Jews and Gentiles. I have appeared unto thee, Paul, for this purpose, to make thee a minister and a witness both of these things which thou hast seen, and of those things in the which I will appear unto thee, delivering thee from the people, Jews, and from the Gentiles, unto whom now I send thee. Acts 26 verses 16 and 17 Paul was first one saved, placed, into the body of Christ, 1 Tim, 1 15, 16, hope of being caught up, 1 Thess, 4 16, 17, and live eternal in the heavens, 2 Cor, 5 colon 1. Israel was to be a kingdom of priests, Exodus 19 verses 5 and 6, a royal priesthood, 1 Peter 2 verse 9. Message. Preach the gospel of the kingdom Jesus Christ is the Son of God to sit on the throne of David, Matt 935, Mark 1 verses 14 and 15. Israel's national salvation, atonement, will be at Christ's second coming to earth, 1 Peter 1 verses 5 to 7, 13. Israel is to rise and shine and save Gentiles in prophecy. Arise, shine, and the Gentiles shall come to thy light. Isaiah 60 verses 1 to 3. Christ was a minister of the circumcision, believing remnant of Israel, Rom, 15 colon 8. Peter preached water baptism, repent and be baptized, Acts 2 verse 38. Jesus said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel, Matt, 15 24. She shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people, Jews, from their sins, Matt, 1 21. Jesus came to earth to give his life a ransom for many, believing Israel, Matt, 20, 28. Paul said, 
We are ambassadors for Christ, 2 Cor, 5.20, and peculiar people, Titus 2 verse 14, preach the gospel of Christ, justification by faith in Christ's death for our sins on the cross, burial, and resurrection, 1 Cor, 15 colon 3, 4. Paul said the members of the body of Christ have now received atonement the instant they believe, Rom, 5.11, I say then, through their fall, the nation of Israel, salvation is come unto the Gentiles. Romans 11 verse 12. In mystery, Paul was blinded by the glory of the ascended risen glorified Lord Jesus Christ, Acts 22 verse 11. Paul said, For Christ sent me not to baptize, but to preach the gospel, 1 Cor, 1 17. Paul said, Made known to all nations for the obedience of faith, Rom. 1626, from now on we no longer know Christ according to his earthly ministry henceforth know we him no more, 2 Cor. 516. Who gave himself a ransom for all, to be testified in due time. 1 Timothy 2 verse 6. Now to him that is of power to establish you according to my gospel, and the preaching of Jesus Christ, according to the revelation of the mystery, which was kept secret since the world began but now is made manifest, and by the scriptures of the prophets, according to the commandment of the everlasting God, made known to all, the nations for obedience of faith. Romans 16 verses 25 to 26 KJB. Paul says how believers are saved, established, and stabilized. Now to him that is of power to establish you. 1. According to my gospel, which Christ from heaven gave to Paul, the imputed righteousness of Christ by faith in the gospel, 1 Cor. 15 colon 3, 4, 2 Cor. 5 21. 2. And the preaching of Jesus Christ, according to the revelation of the mystery, which was kept secret since the world began, but now is made manifest, but now is made known Christ's ministry from heaven to us through Paul, Romans to Philemon. 3. And by the scriptures of the prophets, according to the commandment of the everlasting God, made known to all nations for the obedience of faith, Rom. 1625, 26. Prophecy in the rest of the Bible from a Pauline point of view. All nations are to be established by these three things in the dispensation of grace. Does it matter which Bible I use? The King James Bible is our final authority. We do not add to it. We do not subtract from it. We do not correct it. Yes, absolutely. Here is an example. The King James Bible says, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first, and also to the Greek, Rom, 1.16. The New International Version, NIV, just says the gospel leaving out of Christ and so does the NASB and the ESV and the RSV. The Amplified Bible has of Christ in italics and the NKJV has a footnote that says that a new text omits of Christ, Westcott and Hort omitted it in their false Greek New Testament which is the basic text for most modern versions. The King James translators italicized words which they included for clarity but were not in the original manuscripts. Here is an example I am he, John 8 verse 28. This lets the reader see at a glance what is written in the original word of God. The originals have turned to dust a long time ago. God preserved his word through a multiplicity of copies as he said he would in Psalms 12 verses 6 and 7. Asterisk please note that in the King James Version of Christ were not put in italics because those words were in the majority of manuscripts. There are no errors in the King James Bible therefore it is best to use it in our Bible study. Remember, it is not enough to own a Bible you need a King James Bible. It is not enough to read a King James Bible, you need to study it. It is not enough to study a King James Bible, you need to write divide it. It is not enough to rightly divide a King James Bible, you need to believe it. It is not enough to believe a King James Bible, you need to teach it. It is not enough to teach a King James Bible, you need to guard it. It is not enough to guard a King James Bible, you need to never let it go. God's Timeline The order of the books in the Bible reveals the order of events in the world. Time Past C.I.R. Israel Middle Wall But Now Fall Paul Colossians 1 verses 25 to 27 Grace 
Acts 9. Unser Gentiles. Gen Mao, Matt. Jorax 1 to 7 Rom. Philosophy Israel. Body of Christ. Mystery. Ages to come. Seven years. Trib Daniel's 70th. Weak Antichrist. Hebrews to Rev. Israel. 1000. Reign. Of. Christ. Prophecy. Prophecy. Whenever you have the prophecy, you never have the body of Christ ever. They cannot coexist. They are like oil and water, they can't be mixed. This is how your Bible is divided. Genesis to John Acts, Transition, Romans to Philemon Hebrews to Revelation. What is the mystery? The mystery, F. 3 colon 1 dash 9 is that God is saving another group of people, the body of Christ, during Israel's national blindness, the dispensation of grace, to live eternal in the heavens, 2 Cor. 5 colon 1. We are living in an unprophesied parenthetical period of time, the dispensation of grace, which is flanked by two appearings of Christ, the appearing of the risen glorified Lord Jesus Christ to our Apostle Paul, Rom. 1113, in Acts 9, and his imminent appearing to rapture the body of Christ. After our rapture, Christ will resume his dealings with Israel, Rom, 11 colon 25 dash 27. The four foundational cornerstones of Romans. 1. Justification, chapters 1 to 5, justified by faith in Christ's death for our sins, burial, and resurrection, believers receive his imputed righteousness. 2. S-A-N-C-T-I-F-I-C-A-T-I-O-N, chapter 6 to 8, our old man, who we were in Adam, was crucified with Christ and we were raised in newness of his life and can serve him. 3. Dispensational, chapters 9 to 11, God has now elected that the Gentiles, all nations, can be saved. 9. Like a potter, God can make of the same lump, Israel, a vessel of honor, a nation of the believing remnant, and a vessel of dishonor, unbelieving Israel. God elected to show mercy to his vessels of mercy the believing remnant of Israel, now on hold, and the Gentiles in this dispensation, while apostate Israel was a vessel of wrath. 10. Paul says Israel was ignorant of the perfect righteousness of God and thought they could keep the law and establish their own righteousness. But Jews may be saved at present by believing the word of faith, which we preach. God will save, from eternal hellfire, any Jew or Gentile and give them Christ's righteousness if they believe in their heart that God raised the Lord Jesus from the dead. Israel heard the gospel that Peter's group preached but refused to believe. 11. Has God cast away his people? No, because Paul was saved and he was a Jew. God saved a remnant of Israel, Peter's group, and the rest were blinded. The apostate nation of Israel stumbled at the cross, then fell in Acts 7, from being above to the same level as the Gentile nations. Through their false salvation has gone to the Gentiles. Paul speaks to the Gentiles as their apostle and says they are a wild olive tree that has been grafted into the good olive tree, 11, 13, 17. We are living during the dispensation of grace, Israel's national blindness, which ends at the rapture with fullness of the Gentiles, 11, 25. Israel's future hope has been delayed, 11, 26, 29. In his wisdom, God's present purpose is to conclude all in unbelief so he can have mercy on all, 11, 30, 36. 4. Practical Application, Chapters 12-16, to Christ teaches us through Paul how we are to live as sons of God as a result of what was taught in Chapters 1-11. to We offer our bodies a living sacrifice for Christ to live through, 12-1-2. Our service to the believers, 12-3-16. Our service to the unbelievers, 12-17-21. Our service under government created by God for the purpose of law and order, 13-1-7. Our service to all men, we are to love others as ourselves, 13,8-14. Our service to the weaker believers, 14,1-23. Concluding information, be of one mind and one mouth behind Apostle Paul glorifying God the Father. Christ's past ministry was to the circumcision with the intent of saving the Gentiles in prophecy, 15,8-12, Paul's present ministry, 15,13-33. Paul's salutations, 16,1-16, Paul's warning, 16,17-20. Tertius says hello, 16,21-24. Paul's benediction, 16,25-27.
Justification 1 to 5. Position. The Father can remain just and declare a believer in Christ justified who has received his son's imputed righteousness by faith in his blood payment for our sins on the cross and resurrection. Our position in Christ is perfect, but spiritual growth helps to make our state match our standing. Dispensational 9 to 11. Was God righteous to set Israel aside? By Israel's false salvation has gone to the Gentiles, does that mean that God has cast away his people Israel? Paul delivers to us Christ's teaching on the dispensational change which involves nations. Israel's national stumbling, fall, temporary spiritual blindness in part, her future hope, and God's present purpose to save the Gentiles. Sanctification 6-8 State Set apart for service Baptized, our spiritual identification with Christ's death, burial, and resurrection. Dead to sin, dead to the law, alive unto God by His Spirit in us, for the purpose of being fully functioning sons of God conformed by the doctrine to the image of His Son and joint heirs with Christ. Application 12-16 to Application of the Doctrine Our walk is sons. Our service to God, service to the body, service to the lost, service under human government, service in the world, and service to weaker brethren. Christ's ministry to Israel in the past for the purpose of saving the Gentiles in prophecy. Paul's present ministry, his friends in Rome, his warning, and concluding revelation. Asterisk each cornerstone is connected to the others and makes up the entire letter. Law of Sin and Death, Fear of Punishment Romans Outline Written from Corinth, Acts 20 verses 2 and 3, C. A.D. 58 Theme, the Gospel of Christ reveals the righteousness of God, 1 16, 17, 3 22, key verses, for I am not ashamed of the Gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to every one that believeth, to the Jew first, and also to the Greek. For therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith, as it is written, the just shall live by faith, Rom, 1 16, 17. Law of the Spirit of Life in Christ Jesus. Purpose, to establish saints in the faith, Rom, 111, 617, 1625, Greetings, 1 colon 1 7, and Purpose Statement, 1 colon 8 17. I, sin, righteousness needed. I, Gentiles under sin, 1 colon 18 32. B, Jews under sin, 2 colon 1 3 colon 8. C, whole world under sin, 3 colon 9 20. 2. Salvation, righteousness imputed. A. Justification explained, 3 colon 21 31. B. Imputation explained using Abraham, 4. C. Result of justification, 5. 3. Sanctification, righteousness imparted for service. A. Our new identity in Christ, 6. B. Our new problem in the flesh, 7. C. Our new power in the Spirit, 8. 4. Was God righteous to set Israel aside? Righteousness rejected. A. God's election of the Gentiles and rejection of Israel, 9. B. Present salvation opportunity for individual Jews, 10. C. Has God cast away his people? 11. V. Serving God out of love and gratitude, righteousness practiced. A. How do we live a life of service to God? 12. B. Living with government, 13. C. The weaker brother and debatable things, 14. D. Paul's ministry to the Gentiles, 15. E. Christ was a minister to the Jews with Gentiles in mind in prophecy, 15, 8-12. F. Paul talks of his apostleship and the ministry God sent him to do, 15, 13-33. 6. Conclusion. A. Uh, salutations to friends. Benediction concerning the revelation of the mystery, 16. Romans chapter review sentences. 1. The power of the gospel of Christ, his righteousness. Gentiles are under sin. 2. The Jews who had the law and did not believe in Jesus Christ are under sin. 3. The whole world is guilty before God, but God has solved the sin problem and saved believers in time past and in the present dispensation of grace. 4. We receive Christ's imputed righteousness when we believe what he did. 5. The result of justification is peace and access to God. We have much more in Christ who died for us than we lost in Adam. His righteousness totally rids our sin. 6. We are dead to sin, 
but alive unto God. How shall we then live? 7. We are dead to the law, which activates our sinful flesh. Good to know. 8. The doctrine allows us to walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. 9. Paul explains that God has elected to show mercy to the Gentiles. 10. Why Israel fell and the Jews present salvation opportunity. Today, individual Jews can be saved by believing the gospel Paul preached. 11. Paul explains Israel's blindness in part during this dispensation. God will still keep his promises to the nation of Israel after Gentile believers are raptured. 12. We are to present our bodies a living sacrifice for Christ to live through and to be transformed into the image of his Son by renewing our minds. 13. We can be model citizens and when we love thy neighbor as thyself. God has set up governmental structures to protect us. 14. Help the weak in Pauline doctrine to be strong. Do not judge others concerning minor issues. God knows the motives of our heart and he will judge. 15. Christ has sent Paul to directly be the minister to the Gentiles. 16. Greetings, warning, and benediction.